Well, here we go. We're uh, ready to roast some coffee. We got the uh, temperature up to date here. It's sitting around like 440 on, uh, on the data logger there. And the, uh, the roaster is sitting around 430. Um, like the, it's nice. This actually swings. It's like a swinging arm, so it's nice to have it right there when you're standing in front of the roaster. So that was a nice touch. And then. Um, Let's put some coffee in and see what happens here. So I got about a pound here, like I mentioned earlier. I'm going to go ahead and drop her in. And um, now I'm going to be honest with you, we're not going to go into like, you know, roasting theory or anything like that. So, I mean, I'm just showing you how this functions. So, you know, the roast is not going to be like the ultimate roast and the perfect profile or whatever. Um, just, just to show you that the, that the roaster works, basically. So, um, yeah, here we go. We're just going to go ahead and drop her in and uh, we'll go from there. Usually I just kind of let's go ahead and start this going and away we go. All right, so we dropped her in. We got her loaded. We got a data log in here for you. And I'm going to just kind of set that. Make sure it's clean. I'm going to drop the Going down a little bit. Always want on just a little bit. That's a warning. It kind of warns you when it reaches a certain temperature. It's already preset. It's something you could change with the PID. I'm not going to go into the PID because I hate to say I do not really use it. I just use it to set my temperature and I adjust my controls from there. So I, I use the machine very manually. Um, obviously, there's Many different things you can do with the PID. There's other things you could, you know, other type of uh, data logger and thermal, thermal couplers and you know, all that good stuff you can hook up. There we go, we got it going. Not the most exciting thing, you know, waiting, but, um, you can kind of see the roast curve. This is kind of, I use the, uh, my roast curve to, you know, help me, um, obviously take my profile. Usually around two minutes is a turning point, and you see it's turned a little bit earlier, it's like a minute 45, minute 46, it's starting to turn. This is your turning point, this is when the coffee is absorbed the heat, and now it's just starting to give off heat, so now it's, uh, you can see the rough curve starting to roll off a little bit. This actually reach temperature as well. That's the other uh, other gauge. I kind of use both of them to be honest with you. I kind of go between the two. What I what I do is I kind of wait for this this gauge to start reading. Once it starts climbing, it depends on the profile what you want to do. This one we're gonna we're gonna wait until it reaches about a degree every five seconds, roughly. Which is usually around, usually around three minutes normally. I'm just gonna let some air flow in here. I'm just gonna open this up. I adjust it you know, around just a quarter of the way, well not really a quarter, but I just around three. I'm just going to adjust the airflow down here. We also want to alleviate some of that smoke. It's going to start producing here soon. I did, I did mark this as well, which makes it kind of easy to kind of, once again, uh, replicate your uh, roast. Like I said, it's probably going to roast pretty fast. This is like super old coffee. It's probably like three years old. If I think it's Robusta. Um, something I just had uh, laying around and kind of use it for, you know, uh, 
I'm kind of test race. Looks like it's quick along pretty good. Obviously, there's a hole down there. It's kind of easy to some of that uh, copper shaft there. Um, what I'll do is I'll just grab the vacuum and vacuum them up rather than roasting. Some, you can just leave it when the coffee drops and you uh, turn on the cooling strain. It's perforated, so a lot of that will just go you know, underneath. So you should be getting there. You shouldn't be too far from first uh, first crack. Easy first crack. Yeah, it's usually around um, 380. I mean, right now this is the same 366 for the one probe. This is the same 380. So you kind of get an idea. There are where the probe is positioned does get different readings. Um, you can kind of see where the one probe is positioned right below the probe I added. You just put it a little bit higher. It seems to. I don't. One, one picked up more of the coffee, one picked up more of the air, and the roaster itself. So it, it does kind of help to have the, the two different see where you're at. So. And this, uh, the data log software I'm using is called Tipka. It's free. Um, to be honest with you, it was a, kind of a pain to get it loaded on uh, on a computer, but I did get it loaded, got it working. It works pretty well. There's a bunch of things you can do with Tipka. I, I'm, once again, I just keep it pretty straightforward. I mainly use it just to read the temperature, record it, and um, you know, actually it'll show my curve, and that way I can try to replicate it later on. I'll repeat it. We should be getting around first track now. He said this is really all top. I'm not sure how long this is going to roast. Still pretty light. dry. It's not surprising. Since there's a lack of moisture, we may not even hear first crack.
kind of dropping now. It's kind of dropping a little bit. It's kind of flattened out, which obviously you don't want to do, but I should have set the temperature a little bit higher. I wasn't sure how well this would roast. And uh, obviously it's uh, a little bit harder to roast than I thought. So um, I'm definitely not the idea of playing the yet because it's terrible, especially being old and not exactly uh, the best roasting here. But it doesn't push up to 400. Of, have increased uh, my flame here a little bit. And again, we're at 398 now. Like I said, I'm really not focusing on roasting theory or making the ultimate coffee here. I just keep showing that it, it functions and it does. So we're just gonna be able to drop it now. I think it's it's kind of stalling on us now already, so I was gonna not be able to recover from this. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop it. Alright, so there we go, there we have it. Um, obviously it is not the ultimate roast. Um, I wish I could spend more time and you know, actually tailor the, the coffee a little bit better and show you a, a better roast. But once again, this video is mainly just for the function of the roaster. I probably said it like a million and a half times, so anyways. Um, if you have any questions about the roaster, um, you know, check out my ad. And um, I do have all the original paperwork that came with the roaster. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Thanks.